ultimate creative capacity of the human brain may be, for all practical purposes, infinite. To use the computer analogy, man is a vast storehouse of data. I encourage you to understand that the challenge that's ahead of you is not to be trivialized. It is clear that persons who live close to their capacity, who continue to activate their potential, have a pronounced sense of well-being and considerable energy. They see themselves as leading purposeful and creative lives. Believe me when I say that your mind can be compared to an undiscovered gold mine. And it makes no difference whether you're 17 or 70. You've grown so much. Loses twice in one day. Look at it this way. Your goal is in the future. Your problem is to bridge the gap which exists between where you are now and the goal you intend to reach. This is a problem to solve. You have your goal and you know that you will become and you will achieve what you think about. If you stay with it, you will reach your goal. I want experience. Yeah. You know of a battlefield where I can learn. <laughs> the only thing about a man that is a man is his mind. Everything else you can find in a pig or a horse. The human mind is the one thing that separates us from the rest of the creatures on Earth. Anything that comes to us in the future will almost certainly come to us as a result of the extent to which we use our minds. I've waited a long time for this. You will scream. If you want to develop the muscles of your body, you take daily exercise of some sort. Well, the mind is developed the same way. <laughs> Last of all, the only thing in the world that can take you to your goals in life is your mind, its effective use, and following through on the good ideas it supplies you. Each of us has a tendency to underestimate his or her own abilities. We should realize that we have, deep within ourselves, a reservoir of great ability, even genius. I was young, people have feared my power. They have forced me to hold back. I don't care what kind of condition he's in or how much time it takes to do it. Whether it's only 10 seconds or even 10 hours, I plan on demonstrating the destruction of a human body. Consider the things your mind has brought you, everything you have. Now consider the estimate made by experts. You have probably been operating on less than 10% of your mental capacities, much less. Man is using a very small fraction of his capacity. Now how can we tap this gigantic potential? Getting the things we want from life is a matter of solving the problems which stand between where we now are and the point we wish to reach.